Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. My cup runneth over. This is a very interesting stanza in the Shepherd's Psalm by David, Psalm 23. It's been made very clear at many points in this message that the care and service and heart of the Good Shepherd will be found to be all-sufficient. The sheep are at one in their comfort and their confidence and in the purposefulness of their journey. And you know, the things that are spread on that table might not be the things that we expect. Of course, in our Western frame of mind, we think of comforts and we think of things of the flesh. But I think God is trying to focus here upon the eternal things, the glorious things, the, the things that cannot be taken away by circumstance. And they are there. They are spread on that table before us. I might think of the freedom from condemnation. Our pardon has been acquired through the blood of Calvary. And we need no longer carry that burden, that darkness. We have been made anew by this process, by trust in the obedience and the suffering and in the dues paying by our Savior. And oh, what relief, oh, what freedom and lightness comes from that realization. And then we also have the companionship and the counsel and the protection of a wonderful elder brother, Jesus. We're told in Hebrews that he was tempted in his earth walk in all points, like as we are, but without sin. And this is a wonderful point of identification with each one of us. Oh, we go through the tests and the trials and the setbacks, and we fret as to whether we might be overcome. But when we turn to that elder brother and recognize him as credible, faithful, capable high priest, we have a way of escape. We have a way of avoiding the darkness. We have a way of not slipping. And thirdly, I would mention the ongoing delight of the broken bread and poured out wine. The elements of our communion, of our remembrance, of that wonderful event which brought for us liberty and a new approach to a righteous Heavenly Father. And as we gather and partake of the elements, we think of that mystical worldwide body of Christ rejoicing in the freedom and the fellowship and in the promise of His coming again. No, well, perhaps these aren't the things we thought would be spread on that table, but they are mighty things. And they give the sheep confidence in the face of all kinds of peril, and that's the last real point in the stanza I have chosen. Delights in the presence of mine enemies. Oh, there are those uh, forces that would defile and defame and destroy and those forces report unto the prince of darkness, the enemy of our souls. But they also realize that there is an absolute righteousness at work, and at work in the flock. And all of their attack, <clears throat> and all of their schemings, are brought to naught by that truth. And we live in safety under the rod and the staff of the Good Shepherd. And there's an image that I saw in the writings of Philip Keller about the state of confidence of the sheep. You know, if the sheep becomes aware of a wolf at the perimeter of the meadow, 
that sheep will simply look toward the shepherd. And if he sees that the shepherd has noticed the arrival of the enemy, the sheep returns to his grazing and frets not. And let, us that, let that be the state of our confidence. <laughs> our elder brother, our shepherd, knows and is on the scene and is all capable and is all wise and loving. And we have nothing to fear. <laughs>